we as human beings now for the very first time have the ability to evolve ourselves, to choose what genes we want to put into our children. And so in a sense, the entire process of evolution is now changing. And we have the ability to, to make that change right now. Man is in a position where soon he might control his future and design his own evolutionary fate. Perhaps 20 to 30 years before we begin the process of perhaps doubling the human lifespan. Men will be able to produce children with men, women with women. The choice will be enormous. We may be able to stop the clock on the human aging process. But this brave new world of knowledge has some worrying implications. The cloning technology all of a sudden allows genetic engineering to be feasible with human beings. And this is what I really fear. Because with genetic engineering, it is possible that those who have money will be able to provide genetic advantages to their children. Uh, and those who do not have money will not be able to use this technology. And what will happen is that the two social classes will diverge into two genetic classes, where there could actually be two different races of human beings based on those who have, uh, who have been enhanced genetically and those who have not been enhanced. We are at a point in our evolution where we are asking fundamental questions about what makes us human. Are we more than just our DNA or biology? The reason that we behave as we do in the present is because of natural selection in the past that causes us to have the kind of mind that we have. And that mind is one that causes us to love our children, to feel deep affection for our, our friends, for, to, to love our spouses, and, and, and so on. But what ultimately makes us human is that we are not dictated to by our chemistry. We have choices. We can tell our genes to take a jump in the lake. I've always loved that phrase, go tell your genes to jump in the lake. The whole point is, though, that we have brains which are capable of rising above that. It's not that our brains weren't fashioned by natural selection. Of course they were. But they were fashioned by natural selection to become big enough to do certain Darwinian tasks, which incidentally had the consequence of letting us tell them to go jump in the lake. 